I just left Gideon's Bakehouse. It's cookie butter pudding. Now, cookie butter, butterscotch, that was my favorite cookie of all time. I love cookie butter bars. When Starbucks had their cookie butter bars out, I would go almost every day. Those things were amazing. I wander around Disney, I get the caramel butter bars. Those are just as good. But this, I'm really excited for this. So we're gonna check this out, we're gonna dig in. Obviously, with Gideon's, you know, you're getting a nice size portion. Look at this. You've got Bishop cookies all across the top. Really thick, almost caramel consistency to this pudding. Take a look at that. That's just, I, I'm super excited for this. It's, it's a very very thick not um, not like a pudding at all more like a, a, a caramel um, and, and the, the Bischoff cookie on there if you like gingerbread this is it this is amazing um, I don't even know what to say but Steve you got to have this all year round man this is amazing or well, bring it back for Christmas gingerbread time this is a hit right here you got to have this. Bring it back at Christmas, Steve. All right, I'm at Epcot. I'm here for one reason, and that's the Food and Wine Festival done the rides. I've been here for the food before, but there's a bunch of new spots that are open that I've got a couple taste tests from, but I haven't hit everything yet. I'll tell you though, that uh, cookie butter pudding, that's still on my mind. That stuff was amazing. You know, and I started thinking about it a little bit more, probably why I liked it so much was just the fact of the consistency. It was more like a creme brulee to me than anything. Uh, a really thick custard like a creme brulee. Uh, my absolute favorite dessert in the world, creme brulee. So that to me was a home run, Steve. I, I just, I can't get it off my mind. It was delicious. I want more, definitely want more. Go. No. 
sing along. Let's sing along. No, I didn't hear you. Go, uh, 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 hey, so everybody go. Uh, 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 watch for your cue. <laughs> I can't even believe this just happened. So come to Connections, and I'm going to get the Remy Liege waffle. So this is a waffle, um, cream cheese, cream cheese icing, a little chocolate Remy on there. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get that special limited time offer. And grab that, and I'm going to wander around the food and cup wine festival. And, uh, and then I see this thing sitting on the counter. And I'm like, oh my goodness, would you look at that. That looks Stunning. I, I can't even imagine how good this is going to taste, so we're going to dig in. This is a Black Forest uh, Bomb Kuchen. I guess I'm saying that right. So if you're a Black Forest fan, I'm sure this is right up your alley. I don't even know how to start eating this thing. It's just, what are the layers on that?
a uh, very flaky dough. Cherries are really good. Not, um, I guess not soaked in alcohol like you would think for the taste of alcohol. Um, I think Black Forest normally has a, an alcohol taste to it. If I remember right, it's been a long time since I've had anything Black Forest, but um, overall this is really good. Not super sweet. Almost like a like a puff pastry or a croissant with chocolate layers in it. And the cherries. The whipped cream is not sweet. Uh, it's very mellow. Yeah. I could eat this every time I come here. Just uh I guess outside of the cookie butter pudding, this is probably breakfast. And then we got this uh cream cheese waffle over here, so we'll give this a shot. You can definitely taste the cream cheese. All in all, it's kind of dry. Um, similar like if you were to buy a one of these these types of waffles. Obviously they're a, a little bit different waffle than say like an Ego or something like that, but uh, these Belgian waffles that you can buy in a pre-packaged container. Um, real similar taste to that, outside of the cream cheese flavor. Nothing too special with this. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that I would really buy that. Uh, again, this Black Forest, this is a hit right here. This thing, yeah. I don't know how long this is going to be on the menu or how long it's been on the menu. I just happened to see it when I walked up there and had to have it. That's a hit right there.
while the drummers set up for their next number, here's more about their performance. The history continues.
Somos el Mariachi Cobre. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. Mariachi Cobre has been performing here at Epcot for 41 years. It's opening day, and that is all because of you. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. We started out with the beautiful voice of the group, who is a long-standing member as well. Everybody, give it up one more time for Miguel Molina. Beautiful song, traditional song. That one from the northern city of Chihuahua, El Caporal de Chihuahua. Before we continue, though, if I can ask all of our friends just to scoot in just a little bit more. We want to make sure that we get out of that walkway there and fill in all of this space here first. Thank you, thank you. And also, if you have not taken note, if you're familiar with the group, you'll notice that we have a very special guest today. Everybody give it up for Hayden Honeycutt. <laughs> Hayden, we've known Hayden for the last nine or ten years or so, and he started out watching the group, then wanting to learn to play that, that beautiful uh, Mexican instrument, the vihuela, right there, and has learned more and more songs as the years have progressed. 
and now he's a strapping young lad. And how old are you now, Hayden? He is now 23. So we met him at, I guess I would maybe like 13 years old is when we met him. So, so, uh, and he's learned this beautiful instrument, so he's going to join us for this set. Amigos, we're going to continue now uh, with a, a wonderful polka. Uh, the polkas are very popular in Mexico, especially in northern Mexico. So we're going to stay up there in the northern state of Chihuahua with a beautiful polka. This is entitled Las Perlitas. We're going to continue now with a very famous artist uh, who, uh, who is a classic ranchera vocalist, made famous so many, so many songs in our genre. This is a wonderful bolero in the voice of Roberto Romo singing a very popular Vicente Fernandez, De Que Manera Te Olvido.
porque te conviene callar nuestro amor. Gracias, amigos. Vamos again, one more time, Roberto Romo. Everybody, we have Emma, and it's her birthday song. Emma, Emma, Emma. Right in front, right in front. Do we have another birthday? Uh, that means yes. That means yes. What's your name? Janet, everybody. Janet's birthday. So, Janet, I already said it on the mic. I already said it on the mic. Too. You just, you just stand. That's right. You just stand there. You hold that. Cheers. Right. Salud. All right. Amigos, do we have any other, do we have any other uh, birthdays? Come Lorena. Ooh. Okay. What is Lorena? Lorena. 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 Oh, Lorena. Okay. Lorena, everybody. Lorena's birthday. It's uh, Lorena. Okay. Any other birthdays? Come All right, amigos. If I can ask everybody, come in a lot closer. Let's come and scoot in this way. And let's fill in all of this area right here. We want to get out of that walkway there behind you. And there was a point right over here. Carlos, everybody, Carlos, birthday. So Carlos. Happy birthday. Right up there, Carlos. So for our birthdays, we have two special songs, the traditional Las Mañanitas. And after that, everybody help us sing happy birthday. <laughs> Again, we would not have been here for these wonderful 41 years if it wasn't for you. So thank you, thank you. We have three more shows coming on later today, starting at 3 o'clock, 3.45, and 4.30 for now. So we're going to leave you in the state of Jalisco, the first in Mariachi with the traditional son, el son del Cihuateco. Thank you so much, everybody. Gracias. Enjoy your cat. Yes. And how about one more round of applause for Hayden Honeycutt, our guest behind
fellow travelers, please welcome to the stage, Le Raftsman. Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to the mill stage. We are the Raftsman, and today we're going to make you travel all the way back to our family tradition via the power of music. So stay tuned. We're here to have fun.